John Stock and I'm the Outreach Coordinator for United Plant Savers and uh, we're at the United Plant Savers Botanical Sanctuary uh, in Rutland, Ohio. Um, it's a 400 acre uh, sanctuary dedicated to the conservation of at-risk native medicinal plants. Meigs County uh, historically has been, um, uh, well in recent history, um, uh, has been the site of, we have coal here, so much of this land has been strip mined. West of the Leading Creek, it's been uh, underground mined. Um, it's, it's been deforested. Um, so this is, this is another, you know, another story of uh, a poor rural setting where uh, our assets in terms of coal uh, have been removed. And I think part of the story is um, that needs to be talked about is the value of, of an intact forest versus the value of the minerals that lie underneath it. So, so we're still being taken advantage of and I think for very little return and I think um, what's encouraging about the work that United Plant Savers and Rural Action uh, does is that we, we are um, establishing the value of an intact forest and what that means to a community. So some of the ways we work to engage the community and our stakeholders and our members um, with our mission of, of native medicinal plant conservation um, is first of all we have workshops um, out here that where people can come. In addition, um, our members, um, which we have about 3,000 members worldwide, um, this is, this is their sanctuary. Um, as a member, you have uh, privileges to come and visit. Um, walk the medicine trail and all of our other trails um, to experience these plants that um, not everybody um, is able to see everywhere where they should be growing because of the, the loss of habitat, the overharvest. harvest. Um, here they're protected. Here we have one of the largest patches, uh, documented patches of golden seal anywhere. So United Plant Savers and Rural Action have worked together to, uh, to increase their impact and to educate new people on issues because we have a lot of things in common. The forestry um, sector of rural action focuses a lot on uh, non-timber forest products, which overlaps directly into our native medicinal plant conservation. Um, uh, teaching people to, uh, to generate an income from their forest without logging their forest necessarily, farming the plants that grow in the understory. We've had that in common from the beginning of both of our programs. Originally our demographics were a little different. And we have a lot of herbalists who are already familiar with these plants that, that we're concerned about. They're members because of the work that we do that's separate from herbalism in terms of conservation. And I think, at least it's been my experience anecdotally, that uh, the people we see that participate in our events that come from the rural action side are more farmers, um, or landowners um, who may not be so interested in herbalism, although we certainly have, there's certainly both, but more, they're more interested in the farming aspect and how to um, be able to manage their land. Um, it just so happens that uh, those things are, in, you know, conservation of native medicinal plants and uh, responsible land management go, go hand in hand.